Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving into something that no one requested, um, but it came up on my recommended feed a couple weeks ago, and I was like, okay, this sounds very interesting, so we're going to add her to my playlist. It is Nicole Scherzinger and Luke Evans singing Beauty and the Beast at Luke Evans Showtime on BBC Two. <sighs> There's a lot of things that just added up together that made me want to investigate this. A, Beauty and the Beast, for those who don't know his all-time favorite movie, the animated version, not the whatever that other live-action Disney version. It, it, it just always has been since I was a kid. Love, love. So there's a great fondness for this movie in, in my heart. Um, B, Luke Evans, love him. Magically delicious. Oh my god, such a handsome man. But also, great actor, great singer. Love him as well. Nicole, Shing Nicole Scherzinger, incredible vocalist, incredible singer. Oh my God, she's fantastic. Um, so the prospect of all of these pieces coming together to make this performance just made me very, very interested in what potentially could happen. So we're going to dive in and just see what these two do with this classic song and see which version they do. Now... I'm hoping they air towards the side of Peebo and Celine and not so much John and Ariana because I just prefer that instrumentation, that production better. But we'll see. like that, did you, madam? Yeah? A little buckle with a swash? Yeah. Now, we are going to bring a bit of that movie magic to the stage tonight. Thank you. Now, in the film, Gaston bullies everybody, kills the beast. But I loved it. The villain. Beast didn't yeah. die, but okay. But it did mean that I never got to sing the big number from the film. So tonight I'm going to break all the rules. Gaston is going to sing Mrs. Potts song, which has been recorded, by the way, many, many times as a duet. Yes. The beauty to my beast tonight is one of the most accomplished singers I have ever come across. I have been a fan of hers since the first time I heard her. She is a global superstar, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Please welcome to the stage, Nicole Scherzinger. You better walk out in this gown with these cutaways. Mm -hmm. Beautiful control. Ooh. 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 Take this back. Take this back. I like her phrasing. Better work, Miss Scherzinger. Just a little change. Small to say the least, both a little scared. Neither one prepared. Beauty and the beast. Never just the same. Gorgeous. Never Surprise Never as before Never just as sure As the sun will rise Whoa. Okay baby, I see you Just a little change Just a little change Ooh, little Sustain it. Oh, 
Y'all better sustain! Than the violin. Oh. Stunning, stunning. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they're called Shazam. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> now, Nicole, it's so great to have you here. This lady flew in from LA specially to be on this show with me. It was worth it. The jet oh. lag is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're a frequent visitor to the United Kingdom, aren't you? Yeah, the United Kingdom is my second home. I'm an adopted Brit here, right? <laughs> yes, you are. I've only had so much love here. And I love being in Wales because I'm obsessed with the accent. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's very sing-song. I feel oh. like you guys would make a killing in voiceover work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't yet. <laughs> 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 Now, people will know you from TV shows such as The X Factor and The American Mask Singer. But musical theater has played a very big part in mm -hmm. your solo career. Yeah, I mean, musical theater is so close to my heart. I've done it since I was growing up, and I had the honor of reviving Cats and playing Grizabella in the West mm -hmm. End. And then last year, during this time, I was actually doing Annie Live, the live musical on TV in the U.S. What's next for Nicole Scherzing? Well, um, right after this, I'm actually going to go back and continue She's recording. She's herself spoken. I have been working on a new album and writing all summer in the UK. So, yeah, I'm, I'm proud that it's, um, I'm doing it here. So hopefully you'll hear new music coming out next year. Well, we cannot wait. We hopefully love it's successful because she's, I feel like she's criminally, not underrated, because I feel like people know she can sing, but I feel like she's criminally underappreciated as a vocalist. So I'm hope, hopefully she, she, she gets some musical success stateside. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that the instrumentation it did kind of harken closer to the Celine Dion, Peebo Bryson version than it did the John Legend, Ariana Grande version. The vocals in John Legend, Ariana Grande are great. There's just something about the musical production of it that I just don't care for. There's something about it just, just doesn't feel right. Um, so I like this that this felt a little bit, oh, just a little bit more dramatic ballady kind of thing. Um, and vocals were fantastic. Like, I had to pause her a couple times because Nicole, like I said, I feel like she's not necessarily underrated because I feel like people know she can sing. I just feel like she's underappreciated, at least here stateside, as a vocalist because she is so damn good. She is incredible. Oh my god. She has some fantastic controls, fantastic range. I believe she's Filipina by origin, which would make sense because if you've been with this channel long enough you know that i've reacted to stuff from the philippines a lot and basically every almost everyone who comes out of the philippines is um just incredibly talented um, yes yeah, some filipino descent on our father's side not born in the philippines but still has it in her blood so by default i feel like that just made her automatically just come out the womb super talented because there's there's not a single filipino person that i've reacted to on this channel who has not been mind-blowingly amazing when it comes to singing oh my god they just breathe them differently over there um so yeah she is just remarkable she has such great control such great range such great technique um and when you if you've watched her perform like musical theater numbers whether it's been um um don't cry for me argentina um memories from cats i want to say she sung stuff from i want to, did she play mimi and rent maybe i made that up maybe that's just me dreamcasting or something but like whether you're seeing her sing that stuff or stuff from like the pussycat dolls days something like she's just so 
could. So like there's so many times throughout this where she just made so many interesting vocal choices where I'm like, God, you better sing the damn song. You better sing, do this song justice. Because when you have the likes of Celine Dion and Peepo Bryson, two of some of the greatest vocalists in the history of ever collaborating, like if you're gonna cover that song, you better do the song justice. So she's, she's just so damn good, oh my God. And Luke, like I've heard him sing a number of times, but I, I was impressed with some of the choices he was making here too. And there were sometimes um, where I was listening to him and like the tone of his voice was giving me kind of an Elton John-ish vibe circa a little bit um, Lion King but a little bit more um, like Road to El Dorado that whole soundtrack like there's something about the tone and some of the phrasing at the end of some of his um, phrases that just it was giving me these Elton John vibes I'm like ooh come on you better give me this soulful white boy kind of sound yes come on Luke um, so the two of them together just beautiful absolutely beautiful I love the changes that they made I love how they paid great respect to the original and they just they just worked well off of each other they blended together when they needed to blend together they stood out when they needed to stand out and there was just a very nice collaboration between the two of them so i'm glad that youtube brought this to my attention because i don't know if i would have seen it otherwise and i absolutely loved it love 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 and i'm wishing nicole all of the success in the states and you know worldwide because again she just she, she's one of many people who are on my mental list of female artists who just aren't getting the attention that they deserve and i just i, I wish they did um so yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this i hope you guys did too if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you